let's discuss about memory heap and call stack memory heap is a place to store and write information and call stack is the place where we keep track of where we are in the code and where we can run the code in order so let's dive into this by writing the code and understand this better i'm in the editor let's say this is a number variable and i will take another variable string one which says hello world and i will write a function say add one pass in a and it returns a plus one similarly i will write another function which is called display that displays the result it's console log for now the result and here we can just invoke add one so whenever we write this variable okay so it tells the JS js engine tells the memory heap to allocate memory for this number here allocate memory for this string now if we have an object okay obj which has some property like first uh, let's write a name john and let's say last it has a property called dane okay so here what the JS engine does is it allocates memory for this object similarly to the function the memory is allocated to the function So, what we can come to know about this is when the JS engine reads this file, it will read line by line, and as and when it is read, so let's say the JS interpreter comes here and it will read var num1, it will allocate the memory for this number. Similarly, it goes down and allocates the memory for the string, the object, and the functions. The call stack comes into play here when we start executing this function okay now let us understand this deeper so we have the js engine and you can think of memory heap as this cupboard so what happens here the main job the main job of JavaScript engine is to read the JavaScript code and execute it. So what do you think will be the two things involved in this step are? One would be a memory heap and another would be a call stack. So the memory heap would be a place to store and write information, allocate memory, release memory and call stack will be a place to keep track of where we are in the code and run the code okay so coming back to this function now we will go and see this in action into the browser let's head to the browser now when we go to the browser we go to the sources and file system here let us go to the snippets and let me create a new snippet so let me paste the code 
which we had written earlier where now and just before what i'll do is in the add function itself instead of returning i will invoke the display function and close so that when we call add it will also simultaneously call display just to get to know what call stack will do and here at line 12 i will add debugger okay let me save this file and run it so if you see the debugger has started now keep a close watch on the call stack here okay let me step into the next function so right now the call stack here it says anonymous that means the global context is created let me go to the next step now if you see when add one function is invoked into the call stack it is pushed here if i go to the next it goes to the next line calls the display the display function gets executed and it is added to the call stack now once the display function is finished executing it should pop from the call stack now the display function is popped off next it will return to this and the add one function would execute that is also popped off after that is popped then the main function gets executed and even that is clear now the call stack is clear now just to summarize heading back to our presentation memory heap is a place where things would be stored it is a reason in memory that the javascript engine provides for us which can be used to store any type of arbitrary data in an unordered fashion which means there is no order to this memory okay this memory allows us to use variables to point to different storage areas just like a cupboard now the javascript engine takes care of how to put the data and how to fetch the data into the memory for us in short the js engine takes care of memory allocation and we need not bother about it much coming on to the call stack this is the region in the memory that operates in a first in and last out mode just like we saw into the example so whenever a function is invoked it is added to the stack after the function finish executing it is removed from the stack so this is a comprehensive explanation of how memory heap and call stack works into the javascript world let me know your comments about this below thank you